What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Capisi with another video. Today guys we're gonna go to Ace Mobile Wash where they got the 1994 Chevy Caprice Classic. They got paint corrected. Uh, gave me a call today that the car is all ready to go. So we're gonna jump in the tow truck right now, head that way, and see what all he did. And I'm actually excited to see how it looks. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember how bad it was from the paint, all that dirt piled up in the cracks, edges, and all that stuff. All them swirls they had. So I think he had the car for about a week, but it's ready to go. So I'm actually excited. Uh, to get there and check it out so I don't know you know hope you guys ready to see this because I'm ready so come on let's go all right guys we made it out here to Ace Mobile Wash where we are picking up the 94 Caprice from the paint correction y'all ready to go see this thing let's go oh, look who we got here yeah guys he ended up buying the truck change the wheels put some 26 inch billet specialties here we did the tents that's good right I know y'all I know y'all think this looks familiar looks nice those wheels make it pop All right, let me show you what we came here for. And here it is, guys. And bam. Look at that shine. Oh yeah, guys, no more tape around the wheels. Now I can see a couple of things. Before you couldn't see none of that stuff. I can see the reflection. Pretty good, right? It came out super slick. Got a nice shine now. Now it looks like it has those miles. What y'all think, gang? White? Yeah, it used to be like off-white. Now it's like white. It came in yellow. So how many how many hours you think you uh, put in this thing? Estimated. Was it harder than Kilo or this one was harder? I think Kilo... Well, no, uh, I don't know. I think they were both up there because both of them look like they haven't been touched in years. Yeah. So they were both a pain in that. But I think Kilo because Kilo's big body as hell. Right. You know, the trunk, the hood, everything. And it's all the same thing. So what, what what all you did to it like? <laughs> so how how we were how I told you guys on the on Mr. Seventy Five. Uh yeah. So how I had said it on on, on the last video, as um, I told you guys on Mr. Seventy Five video, which there's there's an old school detailing and there's a new school detailing. Obviously the old school with the big buffers, D wall buffers. You guys know the big buffers. And then uh, the new schools obviously with smaller machines. As you can see, I got a bunch of them laying around smaller machines, and that's what we kind of do. We start them off with the big one, and then finish them off with the smaller one. Basically, a two, two, three stage, stage two, three stage paint correction, um, just to clean it up and bring it back to life. Obviously, when we first washed it, we tried to decontaminate it, clay bar it, get rid of every everything that's kind of laying on top of the paint, and then started working deep on the paint. Uh, definitely about the shine back up. Yeah, I mean, it looks kind of dull, but that's because look at the lights he has. These are kind of like, uh, they're not like those LEDs over there. Those are like very shiny, and these are more like dull, so that's why it doesn't give it like that wow. But oh, there you go, it's gonna turn those on. Yeah, y'all can see that wet. Like I said, now I can see a ding. It's got a little ding right there in the hood and a ding right here in the fender. I didn't even know it had those. <laughs> nah, this thing came out super slick, man. Like I said, now it looks good. Yeah. I had one of my guys in here too. He was asking me, they really think you're going to bring it back? I was like, bro, I know I'm going to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to go see that Impala yesterday. 
You know, after seeing this one, it's like, I don't even need an Impala. <laughs> you got it right here. Right? This one's in good shape. The engine, look at them jams. It looks brand new. Uh, pop the engine. Oh, yeah. And jams, guys. What you do to the engine? Put some oil? Oh, uh, yeah. Tune up. Tires shine all over. <laughs> <laughs> now we kind of just cleaned it up a little bit, guys, of all it does. I'm telling you guys, it looks just like an Impala SS. It feels like it, too. I just sold one, and I can tell you it feels just like it. Yeah, right? I know it's not an Impala SS, guys. It's a Caprice. Said it just looks like one. Yep, it is ready. Was it hard to take the tape off the wheels? <laughs> it was low key. Yeah. Cause that fucking, you know how that tape, I don't know, so it's like, well, I mean, I'm sure you probably put it on the wall some like one time and that shit comes off in pieces. Oh yeah, the that's cheap tape, that's off. why yeah. you gotta use a good tape. Yeah, when you exactly. use it, uh, cheap tape, Kind of like uh, at least all that uh, residue. Yeah, that's what it does. Exactly. At least I can drive this thing, you know. I never drove this car. Can you believe that? Really? Never, oh, bro. Straight to the tow truck. In here. Yeah, man, tow truck. I think most of the cars that I have, they just go to the tow truck, <laughs> and then that's it. The tow truck into the shop, way. outside the shop, mechanics, <laughs> car washes, and that's it. <laughs> Man, I'm only one person, you know. I wish I had more time that I can just go free up and, oh, yeah. you know, I haven't even had time for my other cars to go for a ride. I barely took the other one like this past weekend just because I know the weather's changing and I haven't even drove it like that. So I just took, yeah, man, I've just been so busy. Probably be forgetting what you Man, sometimes I do, bro, low key. <laughs> and I'm always on the hunt to buy new cars. So like I'd be so glued to the damn um, internet and all that stuff. It just takes a lot of time, bro. And you know, with the family and the wedding, bro, it's just, man, it just takes a lot of time. But no, man, this thing came out nice, guys. So yeah, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I also, guys, uh, my boy wants to ask you, well, I want to ask you guys as well for a huge favor. Um, tell them about your reviews on oh, yeah. Google. If y'all, yeah, if y'all could check me out on Google, we just started kind of going up on the on Google and stuff. So I put my business up on Google. If anybody, if anybody has a little bit of free time, you could just leave us a review. Google, it's, it comes up. You can put Ace Mobile Car Wash, but on Google, it's actually Ace Mobile Ace Mobile Wash Inc. Uh, if you guys could just stop, take a minute, uh, leave me a review. I would highly appreciate it. And keep taking care of Mr. Seventy Five for y'all. <laughs> Yeah, guys, you guys probably haven't got any service from him, but hey, yeah. he takes care of your boy, as y'all can see. And no, guys, it's not free, okay? Yeah. This is not no paid promotion, none of that. I'm no, just, yeah. you know, we look out for each other, and that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? He never comes over. That's yeah. his name right there on the wall, y'all see it? Ace Mobile Watch. He got an Instagram that I can go follow him as well, and he shows you guys like some of the work he does. I've been telling him to do a YouTube or a TikTok or something that shows like, small clips of what he does everybody tells me but. you know people like seeing that kind of stuff you know i know you guys always tell me because you know i do this as well i just don't be having the time right now maybe in the winter once after i get a little bit more settled um i'll get back to doing this kind of stuff but you know i think it's pretty uh uh entertaining you know seeing the difference yeah the difference you know that's that's what i like about yeah. doing this kind of work like the results you know what I'm saying like how a car looks before and then like after like look at the shine on this it's like no. like when do you see a car and it's like this shiny it's crazy what a detail to do. right this is a 1994 i don't think i really see bobo capriches this clean you know yeah it's crazy because even people with newer cars aren't even riding around oh yeah you know <laughs> that three dollar wash i know i know it's cheap and convenience at uh at a time but you know that does a lot of damage to the paint but I mean, you know, some people care, some people don't, so yeah, I guess, I yeah. For those who care, we're here. <laughs> but if you're gonna ride like this clean and put some wheels, you gotta, you know, you gotta have it clean. All right, guys, well, I think we're gonna stop by some, uh, I think they got a little cruise night out here that my boy just called me saying to bring the car by, so we might just bring the car, see what people think about it and see what they got over there. We might find a car for sale there or something, we never know. So 
so we'll see all right guys we made it out here to this little cruise night out here on north avenue and north lake well, we got a harley i don't want to say the harley because then what if it's not a harley then i'm gonna get corrected but it looks like a harley don't know much about bikes Looks like a bagger might not be a bagger i know this is an impala what is it a six four six three i think it's nice got the mexican flag you guys know they gotta represent for the weekend friday is gonna go down oh ss with a floor shifter that's nice Yeah guys, this thing is super clean, super original. That's the way I like the old school. It's all original with everything there. You don't see it don't look like it's missing anything. Got the floor shifter SS. Nice. Now I gotta give me one of these, but it's gotta be a convertible. Hey guys, music is so loud over there. Check out that front end. It's nice. We got airplanes over there in the background. We got 96 Impala right here. It's got the smooth bumpers in the front. 24 inch billet MTWs. It's got the light mirrors with the turn signal. Big lip in the back. Yeah, I see it shine. This thing is nice. This guy had this car since brand new. One owner car, guys. Keeps it all original. Got a sunroof. So yeah, I figure um, from the comments and from hearing everybody, and I had heard it before that Impala SS don't come with sunroof. They are aftermarket, so yeah, guys. This one got the rear smooth back bumper as well. I think it's nice. Oh, it's got the upgraded Wilwood brakes. That thing is nice. Got a lowrider right here. Chevy. I want to interrupt Boo with his pictures. Got another one right here. Check out the details on these cars. You just got so much details. All that chrome. Chevy, Chevy gang. Y'all see this whole parking lot is full of Chevy. Oh, and we got us. And then we got this bad boy. What's this one? This is an Oldsmobile. Got the spokes. We got uh, the Joker over here, Rango, we got a clean OBS truck over there, and this big lifted truck. <laughs> Check out the music on this guy, got a lot of speakers, it's pretty neat. We got my boys in Paula says. Y'all already know this car. Oh, we got a dunk pulling up. Four door, y'all see it? 75. And they got a hard top Impala or Caprice. What is this? Yep, Impala 72. 396, 400 turbo, shift kit. 373 gears. Full three inch exhaust. Check out the details in the paint. Got a lot of patterns. Pretty neat. 
All right, guys, if we see any more cars, I'll show you guys. If not, uh, I'm going to go inside here and get something to eat and wash my hands.